to use just a really easy nourishing primer today. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, and I just take a few drops of that, tap it over my skin. It really is so hydrating. I don't know a lot about this product. I've only used it a handful of times, but every single time I've really liked it. I'm trying to get ahead of my filming schedule, and that entails filming when the children are awake. Just not all the time, very briefly, this will literally only take me about 15 minutes and then I'll be good to go. This foundation came out not very long ago. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. It is a natural finish. It's supposed to be really long wearing. It's also supposed to mimic skin texture and give you just a nice long wearing flawless finish. And it says it's good for all skin types. So if you're a normal dry combination. About two boys. I have two boys. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. On Sephora, it shows that there's about 32 different shades, which is a lot. I love that. The shade I got is medium N90. I am a medium skin tone right now with a neutral undertone. Today, we're doing first impressions on this. It has been a really long time since I've done a first impressions on a foundation. Usually, I like to wear foundation for a couple weeks to several months, and then I do a wear test, but I feel like with first impressions, I'm able to really give you my first thoughts and just initial, you know, initial reaction to everything. But the only con to that is sometimes I don't like a foundation when I first try it and then a month later I figured out how to work it out. It's my new favorite foundation. So my Instagram linked right here. You can follow me on Instagram and I'll keep you guys updated with my foundation thoughts when I find out different little tricks and tips with them. And if not, every month I can also do a roundup of foundations, first impressions, and what I now think about them. Wow, I really just need to get into this tutorial. So I'm going in with a beauty blender. For some reason that, in my mind, that seems like it's going to be the best option with this, but I do have brushes on hand as well. So packaging for this, I think it's really cute. I love the matte bottle. It comes with one ounce of product. I'm just gonna put some of that on my hand. That shade looks like it's going to work out really well, but only Time will tell, we'll see if it oxidizes or not. Let's see how this applies. Wow, a little bit of this seems to go a really long way. I still have plenty of that on my hand and I really just took the smallest dab and that's able to really blend almost on a lot of the side of my face. So the foundation doesn't really have a scent. I don't know. It has a little bit of a scent. It's so subtle though. Bite Beauty is a clean brand at Sephora, which is awesome. So you know that there's no crazy additives or any kind of harsh ingredients that are going to uh, affect your skin if you have really sensitive skin. This is what one half of the face looks like right now. And you can see all my freckles, I did so have some breakouts here this morning. You can still see that. On my forehead, it seemed to blend out fine. I don't know if it will be settling into fine lines, but I do feel like it is buildable, and I would actually like a little bit more coverage, especially with my freckles. At first, I felt like the shade was a little dark, but now that I'm blending it out, I feel like it's looking really good. That's with another layer on. I can still see my freckles. I really, I mean, it really doesn't bother me at all, especially since we're going to be going in with some concealer. So this is with the foundation on. This is with the foundation on or with the foundation off. I feel like it does have a nice luminosity. Right now it's not completely dried down, so we'll see if that luminosity sticks. Definitely isn't super liquidy. It's definitely more of a thicker cream consistency. I like to go light handed on my nose and in between my brows. Have you guys tried any new foundations lately? Which ones? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I am always searching Ulta and Sephora, checking new arrivals to see if there's any new releases. I've really been thinking about my channel a little bit and what I want to niche down into. Yes, I'm a makeup channel, but I've always never really gravitated 
to eyeshadow. It's not my strong suit and it's not something I have time to do when I do my makeup, but complexion products, I'm absolutely obsessed with. Concealer, foundation, setting powder, bronzer, blush. It looks nice. It's definitely not full coverage, but it doesn't claim to be, I would say medium. Like light medium would definitely be a better description for that. It does apply a little bit thicker. I don't know if it's going to be settling into fine lines a little bit more throughout the day. And I'm curious to see if it settles down to a natural finish like it claims right now. It seems very dewy and radiant, which I can't complain about. I like a radiant finish as well. Let's go in with some concealer. I'm going to use something that I have used often, which is my Tarte Shape Tape. I've really been enjoying this Hourglass Concealer. It's just really good, but there are some things, I don't know if it was the foundation I wore yesterday, where I'm like, it's wearing off a little weird on my nose. So I'm gonna have to try that again. I don't want it to affect the foundation today, though, and Tarte Shape Tape. I know how that works with my skin. just the lightest scent and I don't know if it's from the foundation I keep smelling my sponge see if it's a sponge but it's just kind of a weird scent I don't know if it's just a little I'll just have to keep you guys updated I don't know if it's my sponge or what sealer blended out on the foundation obviously blended out really easy um, the first things I'm noticing now that it's starting to settle down I feel like it does emphasize pores a little bit like in between my brows I feel like it does look a little heavy on my forehead. I want to set um, the rest of my face. Okay, so that hourglass powder is was just lightly put on there. This is where we're at. I'm going to hop off camera and do the rest of my makeup. Like I said, the same things, just it doesn't look super light on my skin. But I'm not I'm not unhappy with the look so far. Like I'm in I'm on neutral ground. So it should be interesting to see how everything blends out and then how it wears throughout the day. But I'll be right back with my completed face of makeup. Let's start the wear test now though. It's 11, oh my goodness, 11.36 p.m. Or not p.m., it's 11.36 a.m. So let's start the foundation time right there so I can get a good amount of wear time in today. Ta-da, makeup is complete. Here I am saying, I don't do a lot of eyeshadow and I totally did like a really cool look today. Really easy look. Eyeshadow, I went in with my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette um, and I put the musk in the shade, in the, well, I put the musk in the crease and then I put, was it Twilight? Twilight, it's this really pretty monochrome purple just in the center. Bronzer, I went in with this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula in the shade Sun Kiss. Blush, I put a little bit of this in my crease. This is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment in the shade She's Sincere, and it just melts into your skin and lays a really beautiful, natural finish. If you're new to blushes, I highly recommend something like this because it's you can't go overboard. But I put that in my crease and then of course used it as my blush. Highlight, it's been a little bit since I've used highlight, but I went in with this glow kit by ABH and I went in with butterscotch and gumdrop. My tried and true usual for mascara, L'Oreal Double Extend, and then my brows, I used the Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown, it's one of my favorites. And then I set that all with the NYX uh, Sativa setting gel and then what am i missing setting spray morphe dewy i have a review on this on my channel as well lastly i almost forgot lips i did a combo this is the i love sada e times ColourPop ultra gloss in the shade curvy and i use that with the makeup revolution lip liner in i think oh chauffeur am i missing anything actually i think that's it so this is what the makeup looks like. This is what the foundation looks like. It looks really nice right now. Like I said, just a little heavy in certain areas. My forehead and all of that kind of around my lips. It looks a little like powdery, but I will keep you guys posted and we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Perfect.
Orlando. We are here for the very first check-in. It is 4.09, so about 4.10, which means the foundation has been on for about, what, four hours? And this is what it's looking like. Let me kind of turn down the lighting a little bit so you can see what's going on. Forehead, side. Overall, I feel like my makeup, it looks like the staying power is amazing. It's there, my bronzer's there. There's no places that the foundation has rubbed off, which is awesome. In fact, there's very, there's pretty much no transfer, which is amazing. The only thing I'm noticing is when I'm looking in the mirror is I'm not crazy about the finish and the way my skin looks with the foundation. I love how it feels. It feels very lightweight. It really does feel like a second skin. But then when I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, I see so much different textures that I didn't see before. Granted, I'm breaking out in certain areas, but I feel like it didn't cover those very well either. Even though it's a medium coverage, it's not a big deal, whatever. But there's just certain places like my forehead, it doesn't look like it's settling into fine lines at all. But there's just something about it that looks heavier than the coverage. If this, a, if this was a full coverage foundation, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I like for it to look heavy, I get it. I did but. get an order, I thought I would do a little try on by IVL, it's a workout clothes company that was founded by um, an Instagrammer I follow, which I'm a, I've ordered a, a sports, a couple sports bras and some leggings and a crop top from her and I really love the sports bras so much. They're so comfortable. The leggings that I ordered, eh, like I'd still prefer Lululemon over those leggings, but I wanted to try out a couple of, I needed new shorts. So I got these, these are high-waisted, and then I got a skirt, a workout skirt, which I'm going to use as a golf skirt. So these are the shorts, high-waisted, which, you know, I love. It's so weird for me to have like these other shorts underneath. I'm just not used to that. Workout shorts, which is what I was looking for because all my other ones that I have are too big because I got them right after I had my second son. Yeah, I, I definitely, I like these. I think they'll be good. It should be interesting to see how they wear when I'm actually working out. And then this is one of the, this is the crop top I got from the collection a while ago. And here we have the skirt. What I was looking for in a like golf workout skirt was I wanted it to be high-waisted. It was so hard to find any that were high-waisted and so when I saw this, I absolutely had to get it. I love it actually. It has these shorts underneath. Your girl's got thighs, okay? This is just the story of my life. This is super cute. I really like it. And then I love how it has like the little flare out from there. These, these will definitely do the trick. I can definitely go golfing in these. All right, try on is over. A few hours, I'll be back. And I will tell you the final results for the Bite Beauty Foundation. Okay, we are back for the final check-in. Let me see what time it is. Seven, it's 7.45. These last check-ins, it always looks like I've just been through it. Which, in some ways I have, you know. Our dishwasher has been broken for over a month, so I've been hand washing dishes many, many times a day. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the foundation. Foundation has been on for about eight hours and this is what it is looking like. It's really hard to catch the full effect of what's going on on camera. As far as my bronzer and makeup in itself is concerned, I feel like right here we're doing okay. After eight hours where this looks, my, my other makeup is looking really good. The only thing about this is I just feel like it's wearing off and it's just some odd areas. Like you can kind of see right here, I'm seeing some fading. My chin, I'm seeing some fading. I'm seeing some emphasizing of texture. It doesn't look blurred. It just kind of looks like it's picking up any little spot like in between my brows. It's not settling into any fine lines, which is great. There's just something about this that I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh. 
I don't know. If I had a choice, I wouldn't buy this again. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep it. The price point, it was $39. I did get it for 20% off. I actually found something comparable to me and kind of like a dupe is the Revlon Candid Foundation. This has a natural finish, same coverage. There's something about this that I like a little bit better, but I want to still try this a couple more times before I decide if I'm going to be taking it back or not. And most of the time when I try out new things, it takes a couple times for me to figure out how to use it. Maybe it'll work better with a different primer, different products on top of my skin. So we're just gonna go from there. Thank you so much for following me along today and watching this. I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.